In this video, we'll look at how to use a throwaway chart to explore data. In most cases, you'll want to take time to build clean, uncluttered charts that are easy to read. However, a quick disposable chart is a great way to check and explore data. For example, in this worksheet, I have some sample sales data from a Microsoft tutorial on pivot tables. I don't really know much about this data, but I can learn a lot quickly with a chart. I'll start by selecting all of the amounts, and then I'll use the keyboard shortcut Alt plus F1 to build a chart. The result is a messy column chart, but there's a lot of good information here. First, I can see that there's over 700 transactions total. Without category labels to work with, the horizontal axis is simply a count of values or rows. Looking at the vertical axis, I can see that most transactions are $500 or lower. The largest transactions are between $2,000 and $2,500. I can hover my mouse over any column to see the exact value. And I know all of this in less than a minute. What else can we see? Well, looking closely at the bars, I can guess that this probably isn't real data. I say this because the chart shows distinct clustering at certain levels. Most likely, this data was created by mocking up a limited number of transactions and then duplicating those transactions across a larger date range. Now let me delete this chart and introduce a big data entry error. On a random line, I'll add an extra digit to a unit price. Now I'll chart the data again. This time, the chart clearly shows the outlier. Even if I know nothing about this data, I can guess this is a mistake. So the next time you need to quickly understand unfamiliar data, try a disposable chart. They aren't pretty, but you can learn a lot with almost no effort. Now, if you have a really large set of data, or you want a chart that summarizes data by date or category, try a pivot chart. For more details, see the section on pivot charts.